Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, this is Dave. We're going to do another steroid video today. This is one that uh, some of you first timers are going to really be interested in. It is how to prepare an injection, okay? A couple of things you're going to need. Cotton balls. Rubbing alcohol. A syringe. Your steroids. And of course, band-aids. Okay. Now, first step. So I'm going to take a cotton ball, and I'm going to soak it a little bit with rubbing alcohol. Okay. Then I'm going to take the steroids, and I'm going to clean off the very top of the bottle. Okay. Now, if it's a brand new bottle, you're going to have to remove the flip off. But these are already in use as you can see. Okay, just dab it like that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the syringe from its package. Now that's another thing that's very important. When you're injecting, you have to remember this thing is going to be sticking into your body. So you want to use a new syringe each time. Okay, just use it once and throw it away. Okay. Now, right now I'm just kind of screwing the cap on, making sure it's nice and tight in there. Sometimes you'll get a syringe and it'll be loose and you'll end up having a mess on your hands. Okay, so I'm tightening that up. Remove the cap. Now I'm going to draw in a little bit more air than what I plan to inject for this, okay? Now, for the air test here, I'm going to inject one milliliter, okay? so. I've got just a little bit more than one milliliter of air in there. Stick this in to the rubber stopper and I squeeze all the air out. Okay? Then I draw this back to one. And just let it fill up. I'm squeezing the air bubbles back into the bottle. Okay. I lost a little bit of the gear into the bottle. Now I've got exactly one milliliter of air test. Now at this point, if that's all that you're going to inject, you're ready to go right now, okay? However, we're stacking this with Ekigan. So then I'm going to repeat the process. I draw this down to as much as I plan to inject, okay? I squeeze that air into the bottle. Okay? And then I start filling up the syringe again. See, I know a lot of you are going to want to stack. You're going to want to stack like Test and Deco, or, you know, whatever stack that you've got planned out. And uh, if it's something where it's a weekly injection, there's really no need to inject yourself twice. You can just combine it in one syringe. Almost there. That looks like we're good to go. All right. Now I'm going to recap the syringe. this way. You're always going to have a little bit of air in there. You know, it's, it's almost impossible to get it all out. 
So what I like to do is I like to, with the cap on, make sure that you put the, the protector cap back on the syringe, tap it a couple of times, and the bubbles will float up. And then I'll set it at an angle. And just let that set for a minute. And uh, once all, all the remaining air is floated up here, you're pretty much ready to inject. You just put it in your buttocks, inject it, and put on a Band-Aid. I hope that was helpful, and uh, keep juicing, guys.